I'm Aaron Maté sitting in for Jimmy Dore here with Malcolm Fleshner. And check out the line to see Kamala Harris speak. Look how long this is. Look at that line. And how could you not line up to see the vice president when she is dropping mind-blowing insights like this? So I think it's very important as you have heard from so many incredible leaders, for us at every moment in time, and certainly this one, to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present, and to be able to contextualize it, to understand where we exist in the history and in the moment as it relates not only to the past, but the future. Malcolm, I've been looking for ways to be more present, to be more grounded. I was, you know, I haven't meditated very much recently. I could just replace my whole ritual with that. I could just play that clip over and over every morning. I am blown away. That is really <laughs> insightful. And I, you know, I used to suggest that she shouldn't take a lot of mescaline before she goes and gives speeches. But if that's the result, then I'm, I'm all in favor of it. <laughs> uh, it reminded us of another wise politician, Nancy Pelosi, in Taiwan speaking on the importance of freedom, democracy, and security. Sources of strength is democracy. I said at a meeting earlier with the parliamentarians, in our earliest days of our founding of our country, Benjamin Franklin, our presidency, said, freedom and democracy. Freedom and democracy, and one thing, security here. If we don't have we can't have either if we don't have both. So security, economics, econ security, economy, and again, they're all, and governance, they're all related. And we want come on to always have freedom with security. And we're not backing away from that. Okay? Thank you. It's all connected. It's all connected. Everything is one freedom, economic security. You know, it's all the she same. Was, she was contextualizing the moment, I think, really. <laughs> Absolutely. And, <laughs> I love, you know, like if you're Taiwan, the people in Taiwan, and you're like, oh, I'm sold. Thank you. That would be you know, a very compelling case you made. And by the way, of course, she's she I think she attributed Benjamin Franklin. Uh, she called him a president, which he was not. And then she also got his quote all. I mean, she butchered it. But uh I, <laughs> you know what? If their job is to go out there and make Joe Biden look good by comparison, maybe that's what's going on. Maybe that is their job. They're they're doing a great job at that. And if you're in Taiwan and you're on the fence about being used by the U.S. for war with China, for a war with China, I think Pelosi's words there would uh, I think I think move the needle. And if not that, then hey, think about Kamala Harris, what she has to say again, one more time. So. <laughs> I think it's very important, as you have heard from so many incredible leaders, for us at every moment in time, and certainly this one, to see the moment in time in which we exist and are present, and to be able to contextualize it, to understand where we exist in the history and in the moment as it relates not only to the past, but the future. You got to contextualize. There it is. You got to contextualize. We're telling jokes in Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Chicago, Rosemont, San Diego, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see, get a link for all those tickets. Plus, you can watch my new special, COVID Lies Are Funny. <laughs> <laughs>